Uh, he's happy. Um, just, uh, just cramp. I think that's the main thing. I think his back was cramping pretty early on, felt tight, and then just hamstrings, calves. One's for a one over, he said his toe was gone. Um, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Plenty of hydration. You'll be in the ice bath, I'm, thought, I'm sure. Um, but I'm sure, yeah, you'll be very satisfied and you'll be okay. Yeah, I think that's the greatest ODI innings I mean, I've ever seen. It's probably the greatest ODI innings ever. Um, yeah, we're just chatting about it off, you know, all the players, and we're just like, it's one of those days where you just go, I was there in the stadium the day <laughs> Maxwell chased down that total by himself. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I'm sure he'd be fine. He was, he's cramping, but I think you saw out there, you know, how much he loves playing for, for Australia and do anything to, to play, so I'm sure he'd be fine. Uh, initially, when I walked out there, um, you know, we thought uh, kind of the mystery spinners were the, the biggest trouble. Um, you know, the ball was still spinning a little bit and they were bowling really well. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, for me, it was just basically hanging there. Maxi was still scoring quite freely, but, um, you know, we knew it's the kind of wicket that it gets easier. Um, didn't really feel like run rate was ever going to be an issue with Maxi still at the crease. So, uh, for me, it was just about basically survival. Tomar Konkai, Season 2. Um, and just, you know, hope we get a look at some of the other bowlers that um, maybe that wicket doesn't suit as much. So it's a pretty simple plan. Didn't look too far ahead. Um, I think Maxi might be a bit different. I think he's, he's always plotting his way to a win. So I think even 200 runs out, he was kind of mapping out how he was going to do it. Um, I was just trying to survive. Uh, and then, yeah, towards the end, he was obviously cramping. So... Try to take one run and was almost stretched it off. So after that, I just said, you know, we'll both agree, just stay down there. And again, never felt like run rate was an issue when he's at the crease. Yeah, signal to, to Zamps to get down here because, yeah, he literally couldn't move. Um, and then I think, you know, uh, Jonesy, the physio, was out there, obviously, and he kind of convinced Maxi that if he came off, it might be worse off, you know, so try and hang out there, stand up. Um, and that's probably your best bet because, yeah, once you go off, it's that much cramp, but you, there's no guarantee you're going to get back out there. So, yeah. Yeah, I, again, I think once the, once the spin bowlers were off, I felt pretty confident in um, kind of, you know, any, Zamps if he, if he came in or whatever. Um, but, yeah, he just actually just played it beautifully. He got a few boundaries each over and then got himself down the other end. So um, I was kind of, yeah, ready to start. Having a bit of a go if I needed, but I just run rate always felt under control, and Maxi was just doing it with um, such control. So. Uh, yeah, I thought he was going off, um, so I kind of um, yeah signalled to to Zamps to get down here because yeah he literally couldn't move. Um, and then I think you know uh, Jonesy, the physio, was out there obviously, and he kind of convinced Maxi that if he came off, it might be worse off. You know, so try and hang out there, stand up. Um, that's probably your best bet because, yeah, once you go off, it's 